Hi there, this is Fiona from South Africa. Um, I'm going to be doing a short devotion on the wonderful counsellor. So I'm going to be reading from Isaiah 9 verse 6. For to us a child is born, for to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counsellor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So I want to take a look at the name Wonderful Counsellor in this passage. What is a counsellor? So I looked up um, what a counsellor is. Um, and the definition in the dictionary says, is a person trained to give guidance on personal or psychological problems. So that's the world's view of what a counsellor is. Um, some qualities that I've experienced um, from being counselled over the years by many people in my life, um, good influences. Um, so some qualities include a good listening and communication skills, really important. Having confidence in themselves, being non-judgmental, observant and respectful. Um, the, someone that accepts me just for who I am. Comfort, gives comfort. Um, to exhort and encourage me. Um, to someone who guides me, who someone who I can trust. Trust is very important. With compassion and empathy. Um, and patience and perseverance, you know, we don't always get through things quickly. Um, with gentleness and hope and someone who is peaceful. So let's bear all that in mind as we um, break it down a little bit, what it actually means when it says wonderful counsellor. Um, so we read... Um, over the list of names and we're familiar with it but if we actually look into it into the scripture you know we read over it every Christmas in, in fact and you know, we, we just kind of oh yeah wonderful counselor prince of peace you know um, it means actually a lot more than what we think the word wonderful in this text it means incomprehensible full of wonder and beyond your understanding. It's much weightier than how we use it now. We say, oh, that's wonderful, or oh, how lovely. Um, it, it's, not, it's not the way that it was written um, in the Bible. It's much weightier. Um, counselor um, in, this, in this verse means, um, means like a king, like Solomon, who gives guidance to his people. A king who gives guidance to his people. So Jesus is a wise counselor. In John 2 and verse 25, it states that Jesus could read men's hearts and knew what was in them. He's able to advise people thoroughly because he's qualified in ways that no human counselor is. And he has knowledge of all human nature. Because obviously, because in Psalm 139, um, it says that he knows, he knows us thoroughly. Um, he knit us together in our mother's womb. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Um, and he always knows what we're going through and the right course of action to take. In Hebrews 4, verse 15 and 16, he says he's a high priest who is able to understand and sympathize with everything that we go through. So, in short, this is what the verse actually means. This is what the name actually means. So when we say wonderful counselor, what we're actually saying is incomprehensibly wonderful, wise, loving ruler who is most qualified to understand and know all the things we struggle with and guide us in the right direction. Sure, oh, that's a little bit more than wonderful counsellor. But, you know, even though we do need each other and we've been put in family on purpose, and it's good for us to support each other by lending a listening ear, a shoulder to cry on, and a hug from the heart, uh, we can see that there's one that is much more qualified. Um, and to be all that we need and more, yet... Yeah, 
often he is the last place that we go to. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, I thank you that you have everything that pertains to life and godliness. Father, that you have placed it on the inside of us. I thank you that you are the wonderful counselor. You are incomprehensibly wonderful. You are a loving ruler. You are most qualified to understand us and to, to know everything that we struggle with. And Father, help us to remember that in times of trouble, in times of doubt, in times of um, struggle and strife, help us to remember that there is one, there is one who is incomprehensibly, wonderfully wise, loving ruler, who is most qualified to understand and know all the things we struggle with and to guide us in the right direction. Let us use you as our compass in life. In Jesus name, amen. I hope this has really blessed you. Thank you for listening. It's really um, impacted my life. I learned something new. Um, I often just also read over these verses at Christmas, uh, but this time I'm going to read it a little bit different.